Aloha everybody, Mike Drutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty. And today we're checking out this pretty new construction home here in Kona, listed by Baron Brown over at Keller Williams Realty. Big thank you to her for letting us bring this to you. We got a nice ocean view, new construction. I know you guys like that. I'm gonna show you the outside of the house, the inside of the house, tell you my three favorite things about the house. And the one thing I would change or add if it was mine. So we got some stucco and some board and batten masonite over here. Common build uh, that we see. We got nice trim around our windows, fully guttered. Got a little bit of a uh, hill up behind us. So what people will do, they, they'll put in, this is like kind of a, a native plant that you can put here. And then they'll tarp it in up above uh, to keep the weeds down. And then maybe put holes in and then plant things like monstera or whatever. And so you'll have green coming over everything, so it'll look nice. But it's really important, really helpful if you tarp it first. So that way, um, yeah, you stop the weeds because it can be uh, a bit of a problem. So we got our double pitch roof, asphalt shingles. Look at this beautiful day in Kona. Nice entry. So I, I like how we kind of go in between. We got some stucco in different areas, and then we got board and batten in other areas. Got our Ohia post entry, recessed lights there. Got a couple of light sconces over here that look really good. Nice little planter area. They got it kind of zero scaped in here. So they got plants, but not grass. Makes it nice and low maintenance. I know a lot of our folks come and stay here for a while and then go back to the mainland for a few months. Having a place that you don't have to spend a ton of money on landscaping on while you're gone is kind of nice. Service door over here to our garage. And then right down here, we have our two-car garage. Plenty of space. It actually gets a little deep over here on the left side. You can see how it jumps out there a little bit. We got our solar hot water heater. And look, you even, even got an ocean view from the garage, guys. How often do you get that? It's actually really nice. A lot of times people will not put windows in garages um, because it's just additional cost, right? Um, but this lets a lot of natural light in here. So if you're coming here into your garage or using your garage during the day, you don't have to mess with lights or anything like that. It does have lights here in the ceiling. So, you know, you do have it, but it's nice to uh, not have to use it. Be energy efficient on that. Nice job. I like how they've done this one. So looking pretty good so far. Actually, I know it looks really good because I've already been inside of it. And let me just tell you, they did an awesome job in particular with the bathrooms. We're gonna have a few people here on caravan. I got a new camera and mic set up, so hopefully we catch less ambient sound from the room. But here we go. Check out the kitchen right off the bat coming here to the left. We got Sapele, African mahogany. And you know, there's lots of different, I mean, it's Sapele and mahogany are kind of the same thing, but different pieces of wood obviously are different because it's a natural product. But look at the striping on this. It looks really, really gorgeous. Really love the job on this. And the wood that came out <clears throat> in particular looks really, really nice. You really see it really well here in the uppers. And I mean, it's just glowing over here on this pantry. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. We got our brushed nickel on our poles, soft clothes, side by side. KitchenAid with our freezer down below. Nice, plenty of space in here. Nice, good sized cabinets. Got our lazy Susan over here. Ooh, let me open that for you there. Okay, so that's really helpful. Of course, countertops. I think they call this the Carrera on that. Looks really good. And then they used it up here on the backsplash as well. So it creates a nice, really clean look that you have it on both. The horizontal and the vertical plane that you're looking at, really nice, large farm basin sink, restaurant style fixture on that, KitchenAid on our dishwasher. We have soft clothes and those are nailed inside on our cabinets. KitchenAid on our oven and on our, it's just our microwave up top. Yep, and then the Oven is a convection oven. I know a lot of people really like that, so that's a big deal. Lots of storage over here on this island. Nice job on here. We got it single level, plenty of room over here for four chairs that they have set up. 
Really good job on that. Outlet on the side. And then finishing off our appliances with KitchenAid over here on our glass cooktop. And as you're standing here in the, in the kitchen, plenty of connection out here. I mean, you're just right open with the living dining area and then with our double slider outside to that view, which I'll check out in a second. And then let's go check out this side of the house because I know there's no one here right now. We'll go with bedroom number three. Good size on this one. High baseboards. Oh, our, wards, our floors are Brazilian wood, real wood. And you can tell, it looks great. This is a stage queen size bed, uh, but you can fit a queen or king. You got outlets on either side, so you can put end tables there, really nice. Let's check out our window hardware really quick. Nice job on these windows. Yeah, they're uh, nice quality on that. Ceiling fan, recess lights, if I didn't say that already. And then your closet, high baseboards, flush with the flat top, and then also flat trim going around on our door. Good job on that. And then the bathroom. So this is the bathroom that would be used by this bedroom and by anyone who's over here visiting. Great sink, nice mirror, nice light fixtures. We're doing good there. You've seen this shirt before. This is a silk Tory Richards on that one. Got those same ca uh, countertops, different cabinets. This is a, a bamboo. You can see that coming through a little bit. 12 by 24, nice gray tile down here below. Staggered, looks great. And what I like, they did a really good job in all these bathrooms. So this one here, we got our zero threshold entry, vertical glossy tiles in here and then you know I love this guys we got our light our fixture over here for our shower but the head is over there so you can turn the water on and not get splashed with cold water and then a little spot there for your shampoo we've got our closet over here on the side is this oh yeah it is washer and dryer so it looks like they have a washer in here but that's where your washer and dryer go. It might be a double. And then let's check out our living room real quick. Nice vaulted ceilings, plenty of space up high, recessed lights, nice good looking propeller ceiling fans, and plenty of space. I'd put a bigger TV on the wall, that's me. Um, this room can definitely handle it. And you can put like just a sofa here or you could have a sectional would look really good and still leave plenty of room for your dining room table over here. Good setup on that. And then we'll come through to bedroom number two. Now this is not the primary bedroom, but it's doing pretty darn good. So we got good size in this bedroom. We got those great windows we had before. Queen size bed here, staged. Maybe it's a real bed, let's see. Yeah, that one is a real bed. You could easily fit a king size bed and have two end tables, no problem there at all. And for a second bedroom, I mean, it lives like a primary. It has a cable plugged in there or outlet there so you could put a TV in here if that's your thing. Like a beautiful design that we have here on this door and that's reflected over here. Also on your ensuite, which is really nice. That's what makes this kind of a second primary. It's got your ensuite bath. We're going white on our cabinets in here. We got that same gray tile that we had down below. And again, a zero threshold entry. We'll go horizontal on our tiles. Once again, well thought out. Turn our water on over there with our shower head over here. And you know, I'm a big fan of that zero threshold. Just time moves on. You may need something that has a wheel to get into the shower and it's really good that you have that. You also have your slider going out to the backyard and the view. So that's, um, that's not even the primary. So they've done a really, really good job on that. We'll come over here to the Main bedroom, we still have, we once again have that nice styled door. Really like what they've done there. And then our primary, they got a queen size bed. You could easily fit a king, as we've been saying. Plenty of space all the way across over here to our living room, or I'm sorry, to our TV. And uh, yeah, pretty nice recess light ceiling fan. Sliding glass door going out to the view. I'm going to finish up out there. 
I like the high baseboards. These are like six inch high baseboards. They look great. And I'm a big fan of this bathroom. I can already tell you. This is gonna be on one of the things I like the best. 24 by 24 dark gray tile. I would, I, I, once you hit 24 by 24, I consider it large format tiles. And I love, love, love the look. All the way here right into the closet, the pretty nice built-in over here. Like that we have a couple drawers. You know, having those things already here in a closet, in a closet big enough for that means that you can have more space uh, in your bedroom that you're not having to like, you know, have big furniture there. Dual vanity, nice vessel sinks, check those out. Gorgeous, look like they're honed out of stone, look amazing. And then we have our mahogany, I'm sorry, sapele. It's interchangeable, just one, it's like mesquite from the mainland, mesquite trees and kaiavi trees out here. They're the same, uh, it just depends on where it comes from. And then, that's our wall, oh, sorry, that's the toilet, the privacy door. I like that they have the handle there for some ADA folks. And then the shower, zero threshold. We got the river stone on the bottom. Got our shower faucet right over here with our shower head on the other side. Tile all the way up to the top in here. 12 by 24 horizontally placed marble with our freestanding tub right here in this area too. I know you guys have been doing this on the mainland for a while. We haven't had all the construction that you guys have had, so we don't see it nearly as much. Um, but I'm a super big, big fan of that. I think that's really, really cool. I totally dig it. All right, let's head outside and finish up with our view in this wonderful neighborhood. I'd say we're 1,800 foot elevation or so, I think. Um, I thought I locked it, but I unlocked it, but I locked it. And then we're here. So a couple things to note. So you see these little palms right here? These are areca palms. They're gonna get to be like those palms over there. Really common palm that people use sort of as a fence for privacy. So, and they grow like crazy. So not really high, but they grow thick and they grow fast. So it won't take long for this to sort of block off everything over there and make it feel more enclosed. This is where our septic tank is. I mentioned that they made this as sort of a xeriscaping plan so that you don't have to do a ton of yard work. It'd be really good for your some of our part-time owners who like to be out here uh, for a while and then they like to leave and they don't want to have to pay someone. Um, depending on the home, one of my clients I talked to the other day, nice home, $700 a month was one of his bids for the landscaping. So it can get up there pretty quick. Uh, we got good size on our covered lanai out here with ohia posts on the corner. Looks great. Keeps you nice and protected from the sun, which is super important because you got these beautiful views, but we're looking to the west. So you're going to have sunsets like 365 here, guys, every day. I mean, pretty amazing. But as the sun gets low, it kind of comes in here. So it's really important on your west-facing side of the house that you have your covered lanai. It just gives you, uh, makes it a lot more cooler inside the house. And we got our lava rock wall here for some privacy. Really nice job on that. So when the landscaping comes in, as it comes in, I think people are going to like it even more. Really good job on this build, I really like it. Um, I think this is gonna hit a lot of spots for a lot of folks. Okay, time for my three favorite things and the one thing, hi ladies. Aloha. And the one thing I would change or add if it was mine, change or add is gonna be tough, but three favorite things. Well, I'm really liking uh, this kitchen a lot. It seems like if you wanna have a home uh, with mahogany, sapele, uh, here in the kitchen, you're going to need to spend two, two million bucks. This is currently listed at 1.675. So I really like that we have this high of a finish on the wood uh, at well under two million dollars. So that's the first thing that I like because um, we usually, you know, two million bucks if you want that. My second favorite thing, I told you guys this was going to come. They call it foreshadowing in the business from what I hear. I'm digging the, I'm digging the bathroom here. I like the walk-in closet. I like the large format tiles, and I am a super fan of that. I think it's just really cool and fun. It feels open. I mean, I like how, I didn't really pay attention to that, but look how they keep it 
nice and open. They don't have that wall coming all the way across. It helps with circulation too, because you know, they're gonna have moisture and stuff coming from the shower there uh, in the tub if you use it much. I know most people just end up using the shower. Um, but it's really nicely done, really well thought out. Favorite thing number three, I know the view's really great, and, but I say that so often that I think you guys get worn out. I get worn out saying the view. I mean, we live in Hawaii, the views are great. Favorite thing number three is that you kind of have a second primary here, guys. So when someone's over, it's nice that they have their own bathroom, whether it's a guest, whether you know, it's the kids or whatever, it's just nice that they have their own second private bathroom they can be a mess as much as they want, and then they still have, you know, the view out here to the ocean. So I'm going to go with that as my third favorite thing. The one thing I would change or add, I knew I was going to have a tough time with that in this house because they've done such a good job. What would I change or add? Hmm. You know, I guess the only thing I would consider adding is if I was here full time, I would change out some of the gravel in some areas, like mainly over there by that lanai looking out to the ocean. I would change that from gravel to grass just to soften it up a little bit. But if I'm a part-time owner, I'm not changing that because I don't want to mess with the cost of having someone have to come out here uh, every 10 days or two weeks to do the home. All right, great home. Thank you, Baron, for letting us bring this to you. I got more videos for you up in the corner. See you again real soon.